You and I have just witnessed one of the greatest crimes against the security of the American people that has happened, in my opinion, in many years. I'm speaking specifically about the fact that the FBI has refused to release the 911 transcripts and the transcripts of the conversation between Omar Mateen, the Muslim terrorist who killed all those people in Orlando. They've refused to release the transcript, the full transcript of his conversations with law enforcement. Now, why am I saying that that's a breach of domestic security? Why am I saying that that's putting you at risk? It's really simple. Please hear me. He told what he was doing and why he was doing it. Do you understand? He explained to the law enforcement people why he was doing what he was doing. And the folks at the FBI and the folks in the White House are so determined to keep Islam in a positive light that they are actually refusing to release the transcripts. Now, before I go any further, let me explain. He's quoting Hadith. I guarantee you, Omar, Hadith, uh, Omar Mal, uh, Matin is quoting Hadith. The Hadith are Muhammad's words and deeds that are not in the Quran. So I guarantee you what's happening is on the phone call, he's explaining Sharia law. He's quoting the Quran. He's quoting the Hadith. He's explaining why he's doing what he's doing and that it is a service to Allah, that Allah demands it of him. And what, what the feds are saying is, oh my goodness, he's actually accurately quoting certain passages. And we can't put this out there. So they said, well, we're not going to give air time to his ideology. Really? What if his ideology is the ideology of Muhammad? What if his ideology requires that Muslim mosques be profiled? That they, I'm sorry, that Muslims be profiled and that mosques be surveyed, that they're, that they're under surveillance. That's what we're dealing with here. We are being lied to by omission. If somebody commits a crime and they tell you this is why I'm committing it and they also show you that the reason why they're committing it, other people might be about to do the same thing. But law enforcement say, we can't do that. We can't let people know because it's going to make a group of people look bad or it's going to make people worried. It's going to make people upset. At that point, law enforcement is not protecting you. They're protecting potential criminals. They're protecting a group of people who have a 1400 year history of committing acts of terror because Mohammed, the founder of Islam, ordered those acts of terror. I'm going to read to you these two hadith. Put them up on the screen, would you please? Now, these hadith are from Muhammad. The prophet, that means Muhammad, Allah bless him and give him peace, said, kill anyone who sodomizes and the one who lets it be done to him. That's the quote from Sharia law, all right? Here's one that's from Abu Dawud, one of the famous hadith. The prophet, peace be upon him, said, if you find anyone doing as Lot's people did, Kill the one who does it and the one to whom it is done. This is a Sodom and Gomorrah reference. So these are both, uh, there, there's many other passages, okay? There's many other phrases. These are both passages, words, commands from the lips of Muhammad himself. Now, President Obama, our, our Islamic advocate in chief, said, quote, over the coming days, we will uncover how and why this happened, and we will go wherever the facts lead us. Really, Mr. President? Really? What if the facts, what if the why that you spoke of, Mr. President, what if the why they, he did it leads right to the fount of Islamic terrorism? Mohammed's example. We are being lied to. We are being put in danger. And this president has chosen to put the image of Islam, which is a violent history, which has a violent image from a violent 1400 year history throughout the Middle East, throughout the world. He's choosing to put the image of Islam ahead of the safety of the American people. And he's ordering his law enforcement people in the FBI to not take into consideration religious motivation.
that puts us all in danger. I'll be right back. I'm not going to let go of this.